It's Steph with Tiny's Garden. I am going to attempt to do some winter sewing this year. I say attempt because last year I tried it and I didn't have great success. I did get some seeds to germinate through the winter sewing method. However, I was deep into seed starting and getting plants out into the actual landscape and cut flower garden that they just kind of went to the wayside and I never got them transplanted out. Thus, I didn't have any crops to reap from that. But essentially, winter sowing is a way that you can sow seeds now in something like a recycled milk jug or a recycled juice container and it acts like a greenhouse and still gets moisture from snow with the caps off and you're not doing as much work for actually starting those seeds. Again, I am not an expert on this. This is gonna be my second attempt, but I know that you need to be able to plant hardy annuals and perennials in here. Something that is tender would not work well because obviously they're gonna be outside in some cold depending on where your climate is. If you're doing it this way, you're likely in a colder climate. Today, I am going to get what I have right now are these three containers. So I'm gonna get these ready. All I've done so far is cut the smaller ones open, old milk jug and an old juice glass, and I put regular potting soil in here. From what I've read and understand, you can use regular potting soil with this. You don't necessarily have to use seed starting mix. If you do it differently, let me know because I'm learning still a lot about this too. So essentially how you can go in there and do it, just take your scissors. And I've decided I like the handle to be the fulcrum point. So I'm going to start cutting around the handle. And keep cutting. I washed these out ahead of time, by the way, so they're not dirty. They're clean. And back to the fulcrum point. When I open it, we're right there. And then I'll simply come in with some potting mix. Now, I would love it if you are a seasoned pro at this, or even if you just had good results and have done this before, let me know what you're putting in your winter sewing, any tips and tricks you have, because I'm putting this out there as, this is how I'm trying it, let's see how it goes this year, and you can follow along with me. But also, because I wanna learn more about this method, because you're saving a ton of time right? Not having to tend to these seedlings week after week. So I'd love to get more efficient at it. So drop those comments below for me. Any tips and tricks you have for winter sewing. Now we're full here. The big one, ooh, what should I put in the big one? I'm going to do the arygnum, the blue glitter arygnum. And I'm also following the weeks out from your last frost. So this is so 10 to 16 weeks before the last frost. I'm doing that now because I'm within that range. I wouldn't want these to come up and it still be middle of winter or late February. So, still following that. And then I'm gonna sprinkle around here. I don't want them to be too close together, so I'm trying to have some space with it. So this packet came with 25 seeds. I'm gonna save some of these and hold them back to actually start in seed trays because I'm not super confident with my abilities in this yet, so I don't want to throw all of my seeds into one milk jug, if you will. Okay, oh, I should probably read if they need to be covered or not, huh? Do not cover as light aids germination. Okay, do not cover, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in and water these. Give them a lot of moisture here. Then what I'll do is grab my tape. I honestly don't know what type of tape this is. It's a very ugly beige color, but duct tape or any type of tape will work. I'm gonna come in and close this gap. That looks good. And then I can write right on my milk jug with a garden marker so it doesn't disappear or fade. 
when I'm growing. How do you spell arrhythmia? And I might as well put the date I sewed them. And then this is ready to go outside. It's about three hours later. I realized I forgot to put drainage holes in the bottom of these containers. We want to make sure we do that so excess water can get out of there. So I'm going to do it now. Do it as you're cutting the carton in the first place, not after the fact. Oh. Ah. Definitely do it before. My mom's gonna yell at me for this. These scissors being open. One. Two. Three. Ah, there's some icy water coming out. Oh boy. Oh, she's a little deformed now. Little deformed. It's okay. That's okay. Holy cow. This lemonade carton is titanium. Told you I wasn't a veteran at this. And then this is ready to go outside. It's as simple as that. Again, from what I understand. And then with my last two jugs, I am going to fill with some leftover seeds from last year. So the germination rate will go down a little bit on these, but I'll still plant them and hopefully have some success. So that's going to be the QIS. I'm not sure if this is pronounced Keys or QIS. Let me know if you know. Dark Blue Larkspur and the Magic. Fountain Mix Delphinium and Belladonna Mix Delphinium. I'm just gonna put these together because I don't think there's that many left. Okay, here we go. So this one's ready to go. My last one is the Delphiniums. And I did make a tag for these. Again, I'm marking the outside, but I just wanna see in case the garden marker comes off of these winter sewings. I'm not 100% sure. So I'll put them in this one just in case. Huh. Little bit of a buzz kill when nothing's coming out of your seed packet. Don't know why I kept that one. This one has some. Which one is this? Belladonna mix. Here's what those seeds look like. The packet doesn't say if they want to be covered or not, but I think they do lightly like to be covered. Water in. And we'll taper up. And label. Done and done. So I'll put these two out with the other one. And then I am planning on starting more once I have some more milk jugs to use. And we're done here. Hopefully we had better success this year than last year. Fingers crossed. You can follow me along here and see how it goes. If you're a winter sewing veteran, please comment below and let me know some of your tried and true tricks for winter sewing. And subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you follow along our journey here and discuss all things garden. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Happy planting.